Welcome to Live Lean TV. I'm Brad Gutschler from LiveLeanTV.com. So guys, on today's episode, I'm talking about how many meals per day to build muscle, as well as the best muscle building foods to increase muscle protein synthesis. So you wanna build muscle, do you? Good. So guys, the three major aspects of building muscle fast. Number one, you need to be following a properly structured workout program. So to ensure you're following the best program, guys, go take our quick Live Lean Body Quiz right now here and you need to be in a calorie surplus so if you don't know what that is click here to calculate how many calories you need to build muscle and you need protein protein is the most important nutrient for building muscle and strength and that's what i want to focus on in this episode so this topic came from a question from one of our live lean group coaching clients so kayla asked i heard that it's important to eat every 2.5 to 3 hours to keep up with protein synthesis I used to be pretty good at this, but with my new job, it'll be hard for me to sneak food every three hours. <laughs> if I only eat three meals a day, but still stick to the right amount of calories, will I be at a significant disadvantage if my goal is to build a solid amount of muscle? So first, let's talk about what muscle protein synthesis is. If you're looking to build muscle and get stronger, it's important to increase muscle protein synthesis. Now, this is just a simple, fancy word for the process of repairing and building new muscle tissue. And you increase it by the foods that you eat throughout the day. So one of the meals that's very important for this is your post-workout shake. So increasing muscle protein synthesis after your workout is especially important for building muscle as lifting weights breaks down your muscles, which is also known as muscle protein breakdown. So guys, to put this simply, to build muscle, the rate of muscle protein synthesis needs to be higher than the muscle protein breakdown. So you lose muscle when the rate of muscle protein breakdown is greater than the muscle protein synthesis and you maintain your muscle when everything is equal. So the first question we gotta ask is how much protein do you need to increase muscle protein synthesis? So when it comes to muscle, eating more protein is not always better. I know you may be surprised at that, but typically it only takes 20 to 30 grams of a high quality protein to increase muscle protein synthesis. So studies have shown that eating a meal with 30 grams of protein increase that muscle protein synthesis the same amount as a meal with 60 grams of protein. So regardless if you ate an eight ounce steak versus a four ounce steak, you'd increase muscle protein synthesis by the same amount. But don't get me wrong, this isn't to say that your body won't absorb or use the protein from all eight ounces of that steak because it uses it for other healthy bodily functions. And in fact, the body can store the amino acids in the muscle tissue and then use them as reserves when you go for a longer period of time between meals. Plus it'll also help you hit your overall daily protein goals. So the next question is how many meals should I eat a day or how often should I increase muscle protein protein synthesis. Well, guys, every three hours is optimal for increasing muscle protein synthesis throughout the day. But guys, just don't freak out when I say that. I talk more about this, including if this is right for you at the end of this video. So make sure you keep watching until the end. So to increase your muscle protein synthesis, guys, you need to be focused on the best muscle building foods. So aim to have one of these best muscle building foods with each meal to increase your muscle protein synthesis throughout the day. Food, number one, whole eggs. Number two, grass-fed beef. Number three, poultry, either chicken or turkey. Four, fish, like wild salmon. And number five, whey protein isolate powder. So guys, no surprises there. So guys, I've said it before, a high quality whey protein isolate powder is the best muscle building protein powder as it contains a superior amino acid profile that is especially high in leucine. And if you're wondering what leucine is, leucine is one of the three essential amino acids found in branch chained amino acids. You may have heard BCAs. And it's also considered the most important as it is known to be the sole stimulator of muscle protein synthesis. So supplementing with leucine may help build muscle if you're diet Diet is low in protein or for older people who are not as efficient in increasing muscle protein synthesis from their diet alone. Remember, an increase in protein is especially important for older people as the ability to build muscle can be reduced after the age of like 35 or in your 30s to 40s. So if you're using a high quality whey protein isolate powder, it should contain the necessary three grams of leucine to increase muscle protein synthesis. And all those foods that I just talked about, they all pretty much in a serving size contain that three grams. So if your protein powder doesn't have that three grams of leucine, you may wanna consider supplementing the difference with an actual leucine supplement. And I've been doing this recently since I've been off of whey protein, I've been taking more of an egg protein powder. Also aim for these muscle building goals. 
eat a pre-workout meal comprised of at least 20 to 30 grams of protein one to two hours before your workout. Consider supplementing with leucine if you need it and drink a post-workout protein shake with a protein powder that contains at least three grams of leucine or supplement with leucine for the remainder. And lastly, eat a whole meal comprised of at least 20 to 30 grams of protein within one to three hours after your workout and then have 20 to 30 grams of protein in your meals throughout the day. But guys, remember this, these recommendations are for optimal results. If you're not a professional athlete or a bodybuilder, eating 20 to 30 grams of protein every three hours is not a make or break situation for your muscle building goals. In fact, here was my response to our client Kayla. The most important thing is hitting your total calories and protein requirements at the end of the day. Yes, for muscle building, every three to four hours is optimal for protein synthesis, but for living lean, three meals a day can also work. Then Jessica also responded with, yeah, every three to four hours is a good goal in an ideal world, but in the real world where we all have jobs and obligations, we have to do our best with what we can. So just remember this, if you're not a professional athlete or a bodybuilder, but you just want to look better naked and feel stronger in everyday life, you can still build muscle even if you don't eat every three hours. Overall protein intake is more important for you than the timing or the frequency of protein intake or how many meals you should eat a day. Leave those complex details to the professional athletes. Remember, I've said this before, living lean is about progress not perfection, that's not the game we're in here. So seriously, if you're completely overwhelmed and just need some guidance, I highly recommend you join our team of like-minded group coaching clients at teamlivelean.com. Not only do you get access to our weekly meal plans, our cooking videos, our grocery lists, and our workout programs, you also get access to both myself and Jessica and hundreds of other like-minded people in our private Facebook accountability group. You post questions about your specific issue, we try to help you guys. So I'll put a clickable link in the video description down below. We hope to see you over there. Thanks for watching and keep living lean.